Good afternoon, Erie. I'm Erie Times News online reporter Sarah Grabsky. I am here bringing you a live weather update here in the 11 a.m. hour. I am stationed at West 19th Street and Cherry Streets here in the downtown Erie area. I'm standing right outside Erie Cemetery to kind of give you um, a look at actually it's really pretty the snow is falling here at this hour right now so I'm gonna be giving you kind of a live weather update of where we're at in the season um, as far as snowfall totals go so I'm gonna turn the camera around so that you can kind of get a look at uh, what it looks like down here right now. so we are look at those those trees are just lined so pretty with snow so um, again, we are at 191.5 inches of snowfall um, so far this year. Um, so to put that into context, when we are talking about Great, Great Lakes region snowiest winters, we have more than likely surpassed Syracuse's snowiest winter. That was measured at 192.1 inches. So that's their snowiest season. We've more than likely surpassed that. As you can see, snowflakes falling this morning. That 191.5 was from around midnight of uh, last night. So we've more than likely surpassed the snowiest winter of 192.1. We have yet, we're still chasing Buffalo snowiest winter. That's at 199 um, and change. So uh, we are currently um, in the chase for that, but I have faith that we will get it. The National Weather Service says that we are going to be uh, getting another storm sometime next week, some more snow next week. Um, today we are only expecting to get about a half an inch and then again um, a half an inch um, tomorrow night, or tonight, sorry, excuse me. Um, so right now you are looking at the intersection of West 19th and Cherry Streets. Snow is just lightly falling here. We are at 191. 0.5 for the season that was measured again as of midnight ish um, this morning so we are more than likely uh, we have more than likely surpassed Syracuse's 192.1 uh, and um, we are still uh, counting the, the inches here in Erie Pennsylvania so uh, just to give you guys um, an idea it's we have as of yesterday we surpassed um, the snowiest march on record for the city so we are at 35 inches of snow and counting for the month of march our previous snowiest march was 33.9 inches so right now if you're just joining us erie times news online reporter sarah grabsky i'm at west 19th and cherry streets right out front of the erie cemetery giving you a look at what downtown looks like right now flakes are lightly falling come out to waterford for got more than that i know jeff i anywhere south of of erie right now i'm sure we're getting pounded there was flakes falling to hannah goley there was flakes falling pretty hard this morning so here we are again we're sitting at 191.5 for the season we have more than likely surpassed Syracuse's 192.1 snowiest season because that 191.5 was measured at midnight last night. So uh, flakes have been falling here on and off throughout the day. So um, I am confident that we got the uh, half an inch there to, to secure that spot. Again, we have the snowiest March on record as well. So 35 inches as of March 1st at, through yesterday. That makes it the snowiest march on record, too. I <laughs> have 35 inches in my yard. So you are looking at West 19th and Cherry Streets where flakes are lightly falling here. Yes, yeah, thank you guys for all of the check-ins. Uh, we more than appreciate it because we know that uh, what's happening here in Erie more than likely isn't what's happening south of I-90. So we are, snow is likely to keep falling here. The National Weather Service says we're supposed to get half an inch today um, and half an inch again tonight and then more snow next week as well. So uh, we've got that going for us. But anyway, okay, so I'm going to turn around and sign off here. So thanks so much, you guys, for joining us. We will keep you updated with the latest snow 
totals as soon as we get them. Erie, Pennsylvania, snow is still falling here in mid-March. So um, thanks so much for joining us. GoErie.com slash weather for all of your live radar, weather needs, and more. Thanks so much for joining me today. Stay safe, stay warm.